Mm -hmm. The evidence you have heard has irrefutably proven that this blackmail led directly to Carlton. We have heard how the deceased threatened to reveal the truth of an affair between the accused and Mr. Love, the partner of police. We've heard from pathology about the violence of the blow needed to kill, how the killing blow was one of great force. Oof. We have also heard of the love Carl had for Chastity, truly wanting a new life with the accused. And how, perhaps a man of many things, the deceased was also in essence a family man, a good company, and capable of parents. Significantly, we have heard that he had no real motive in threatening his mother to lure Carl into a sham wedding. We have heard how Mrs. Spencer has already proven herself capable of exacting an extreme and extraordinarily cruel act of revenge upon the deceased. Now my learned friend has tried to present the fact that the accused admitted killing Carl King as evidence of the wisdom. is the depth of her guilt Guilt felt, having callously taken the life of a man, who simply stood in Problem? Charity? How's it going? Uh, it's done and gone. I mean, not to the state, so I might stay less than I am. You see where you are. About the trials. Well, about the trials, you're just getting your way. You'd be used to it by now. that despite persecuting the accused with cruel threats and blackmail, she would still come to love him. He was so deluded, he had already bought the lady tickets, believing that on the day she was marrying someone else. We have also heard that this obsessional behavior led him to acts of violence in the past. That Chastity's own niece, Deborah Dingle, was perhaps lucky not to be a further victim of Carl's rape. Despite all this, the prosecution has tried to paint a picture of Carl as, in essence, a family man. Yet even by his own brother's admission, we have heard just how violent and cruel the real Carl could be. The chastity has finally admitted that she may have struck the blood that ended Carl's life. She would have to live with the guilt of that for the rest of her life. But this was new. This is a premeditated assault. It was the act of a desperate, desperate man. 